Hi everyone, I'm Kasia Bosnia, wardrobe stylist, founder of Boutique 57, budget fashionista. And today I would love to welcome you to Performance Flight School in White Plains, New York, where I'm going to practice some safe landings and takeoffs. Aviation is primarily such a mental pursuit. And the fact is that learning how to fly is all about being safe and confident pilot. The most important skill as a pilot is the ability to plan, execute all those right decisions while multitasking. The weather plays a huge critical complex role in majorly affecting the flying. Today we have nothing to worry about as the weather is absolutely gorgeous. We have a fabulous day. So hopefully, I mean for sure, we will have definitely gorgeous, fantastic views. In reality, airplanes don't always behave the way the book says they will, nor we can take books uh, while we're flying. It's really a routine pattern, well rehearsed, where for me this is the most amazing, enjoyable, rewarding experience. I have to tell you, when I lift off the ground, there is no greater feeling than that. And aviation grabs your heart right on the spot and just does not let you go. So once you start, it's really hard to uh, stop it. And uh, you can definitely learn if you are interested to learn how to fly or earn your advanced ratings at Performance Flight uh, School, which is New York's most acclaimed training center. And of course, you can learn from the best. So before we go on that beautiful uh, Cirrus SR20 plane, which I absolutely love, there is a lot of stuff that we need to prepare. We need to prepare our pre-flying. So follow me and I'll show you how I take care of the plane. And we will go on a fabulous uh, flight. Right, so I checked the battery, master to switch on, the avionics cooling fan, I hear it slightly, essential bus voltage 23 to 25. So now, uh, pre-flight inspection completed, weight and balance, emergency equipment on board, passengers brief, seat belts secure and adjusted. I have a pleasure today to have a founder of Performers Flight School, Louis Liebert, and I would love to ask you a few questions. Sure. Thank you so much for taking your time. Uh, what do you think motivates mostly people to fly? Uh, everyone has their own motivation. Some people are doing it for business. Uh, some are doing it for pleasure where they have a vacation home uh, or a destination they'd like to frequent. Others just enjoy the pure thrill of getting in the plane and flying and having the freedom to do so. Actually, a lot of, uh, a lot of us majority we really have that fear and what can one expect once they come to performers flight school how can you help them to break that fear well it's funny i actually before i started the school i was afraid of flying so i'm the perfect example of this me too and i found as you hopefully did as well that uh, once i understood how the plane flew how it stayed in the air uh, and all the redundant equipment the parachute uh, the airbags, the two alternators, two batteries, two of everything, 
um, it put me to ease, and then I realized that it was actually a very safe and, uh, and fun activity. It's not that scary. No, it's not that scary. And what I really like about your school is the choice of the particular model plane that you choose. I really love flying on the Cirruses. I find them uh, as Royce Royces of aviation. They really meticulously uh, maintained. They're really fabulous, the newest, newest technology. What made you decide to choose this plane? As most of the schools, they really train their students on Cessnas. This was based on value. The people that are coming here are looking for the best, the best instructors, the best equipment, the best service overall. The Cirrus aircraft, both the SR-20 and the SR-22, are the most ad uh, advanced, the safest, the fastest, the most luxurious. They kind of bring everything together into one. So it was, uh, it was, it was a pretty easy choice. Do you think women can be good pilots? Absolutely. Do you have any tips for me? Keep training. <laughs> Did you hear that? I will. Uh, thank you so much. I took definitely all the notes. And hopefully I'll put them in good use and become one day an excellent pilot. This is absolutely incredible jet. And hopefully one day, once I'll get my pilot license, I'll be able to advance with my learning and be able to fly one of those planes. That would be really cool and amazing. I have a pleasure here to have Nick Gregory, fantastic pilot, professional flight instructor, chief of pilots and performers flight school, and of course a weather expert at FAX 5 News. And of course as pilots we all know how important uh, we have to take into consideration a weather. And when you make that wrong prediction of the weather for every single day, it's probably not a problem. Of course I'm not really wrong, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've been, I've been wrong in 10 years. Well, sometimes the Mother Nature plays tricks on us, and instead of having a, this beautiful, gorgeous day, all of a sudden it's pouring rain. So probably if we are pre-flying, this is probably a major problem. We should not be doing it. Can you tell us what's the most important factors students, to take, uh, sh students should take into consideration before flying? Well, the best thing is, is to get what uh, we call, of course, the weather briefing, the good weather briefing, because that weather briefing is very, very important, and it should really start even the day before that uh, a pilot goes out to fly. So you get an idea of what the weather's going to be like in your area or your destination where you're going to be flying. And then the day of your flight, you're always updating the weather. And we have to remember that when we look at a forecast, we have to take it for that value, that it's really just a forecast. It's not reality until we actually get in the airplane and start flying into that weather. So as an ongoing task for the pilot, it's this uh, always analyzing what's happening at that time and always having the plan B. You have to always make sure that... You're what's that? The plan B is to turn the other way. <laughs> if you don't and land. Sit over there, you're going to go that way and land at, the, at an airport that would be you know, good enough to do that. So the plan B is very, very important because if you, if you don't have that plan and you box yourself into a corner, that's when the pilot can get in trouble. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. And for all of you who are interested in taking uh, flying lessons, Nick is a perfect instructor. Mm -hmm. And we all welcome you to performance flight in White Plains, uh, New York, Westchester.